Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a really fun video because I know you guys will like it. Uh, today is a TMI video, too much information. And I know you guys are nosy, so it's gonna be a fun video. So let's get started. Today's, uh, the video is, um, uh, oh, can't breathe. Seriously, I can't breathe. I'm not even kidding. I feel like I need water. Okay. So, it is a too much information video, but it's basically of the last person that I spoke to relationships video. So, like, what is what is my relationship with the last person I spoke to? Um... <sighs> Why can't I ever get my hair right? Oh, hello. Okay. So, the last person I spoke to is... Let me show you so that you guys don't think I'm playing with you. The last person I spoke to is... My sister-in-law. Just so that you guys can see. The last person I spoke to is my sister-in-law, Alexandra. And... I know that you guys are going to be very intrigued by her because um, it's uh, our relationship has been like like up and down, up and down, like crazy, 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 like on and off, on and off, on and off. And especially since it's like uh, she is a very close family member, you know, we need to like get along. So I know that you guys are going to be very like intrigued by this relationship and how we get along and stuff like that so the way that our relationship started was basically when I met Ernest we became friends and we did get along very well at the beginning I'm sorry but I cannot breathe hold on <sighs> Woo! I had to take my bra off I'm sorry so either way you can't see that I have no bra on um we began as we me and her we began as friends um when me and Ernest began we when me and Ernest started dating and it started off it, it started off really good um then we started more as like we started getting closer like uh when me and Ernest uh started dating we were like off to like a distance relationship and me and her were as a distance like a friendship relationship as well the closer i got to earners the closer i got to her so we i got closer to her and i she became like my she became my sister like we were so close that she i i did everything with her and it was amazing like i i felt like i didn't have anyone else but her like the things that i did not tell ernest i would tell her the things that i did not express to ernest i would express to her and it felt amazing because when i did not cry to ernest i would cry to her and it just felt like i had a shoulder to lie on and that, that she was there for me for every little thing and i was there for her as well you know what i mean so that's that she she was there through it all um then was when it was like a year or two it was like a year or two of that where we just share like really happy moments really really happy moments and then is where like the pettiness started coming through um i guess is where like i know that family members go through this um i know that sisters i know that sisters go through this uh blood sisters go through this and like i i know that it gets a lot worse um where you argue and argue and argue and you know you like you'll argue and then you get you you become friends again and you'll argue and you become friends again but like with us it was like i was being petty and i was getting jealous um with her and earnest and um just things like that like i was being really petty and i shouldn't have been like that because you know they're brothers and sisters and i understand that now that i've grown now i understand that and now that we're big i i am the one that understands that that i shouldn't have been that way and like 
that's why I'm talking about that now because I know maybe like some of you are like you know you shouldn't have been that way but I know that I shouldn't have been that way and I understand it now um, and many of you many of you maybe you're still like that now um, but we all go through that in our lives and so I did go through that I did go through that point in my life and it was horrible like I didn't I didn't feel like spending time with her I didn't feel like being part of her life um, and it sucked because when there were times where like there were like family moments that you know like I feel like crying so suck it up there were like moments where people like everyone wanted to do things I wasn't there you know what I mean and I didn't want to spend time with her and it hurts because she still like although I was being petty she still meant a lot to me and and I still wanted I still like I even though I was jealous I still wanted to have the relationship that we had before because I never had that I've never like I ne had never gone through that experience before so I wanted to have that again and I didn't I didn't want to be acting that way and I did go through that and obviously she saw that in me and she didn't it wasn't easy to forgive me and I and I understand that um and I wasn't as close to her so we weren't as close to each other like we didn't spend time together we didn't do things together she had her own friends and i was obviously alone i didn't have any friends i didn't spend time with anyone she she did her own things she had her own friends um and i spent time with ernest i did my own things with him we didn't we didn't go out as much with her um which is what sucked because I didn't allow him to be spending time with his sister, because, which is the messed up thing, because he should be spending time with his sister, and that is totally messed up, and that shouldn't be done, and that's where I messed up, but so time went by, and um, she obviously left to a different um, state, and we stayed here, and I was like okay we're gonna get closer and we did get closer and now we're a lot closer than we than we were before um now we usually facetime and we talk a lot more than we used to a lot more than we used to before like when she was here we did not even look at each other and now we like text and we talk and actually when she was here when she visited when she visited in december during new year's um was when ernest proposed and i decided i've i decided that i always wanted her as my maid of honor no matter what we went through i always wanted her as my maid of honor because she was always she was my no matter what in my heart she was my sister so i wanted her as my maid of honor so i decided to make her as my maid of honor and no matter what we went through i was like okay um i'm not gonna change my mind if i made her as my maid of honor she's gonna stay as my maid of honor even if we go through what we go through no, n even if I get mad of, even if I get mad at her, or even if it, she gets mad at me, even if we don't text for days, okay, we don't text for days. It's okay, we'll text again. Um, but she's still my maid of honor, and I'm happy that she is. Um, because at the end of the day, the only girl, the only girl that I've had that type of sister relationship, friend type of relationship, the only girl that I've shared my life like that type of sister life friendship with has been with her and i don't think that i'll ever share that type of thing with anyone ever again and besides she is my fiance sister and what would make my fiance happier than than that you know what i mean so now we are good and i'm happy that we are good we are so excited actually that we're going to be visiting them in 
ne next month and we're going to be spending time together. I've been trying so hard not to cry th through this video. I have like a knot right here. Um, but yeah, um, I'm really excited. She's, she's totally fine with me doing this video. We've gotten past we've we've gotten past through the past this but we just it's like something that we do not decide to talk about because what's the point of talking about it like we've grown through it and we don't we don't want to talk about it it's there's no point in talking about it because the past is the past and there's new things coming our way and i mean we're gonna be in each other's lives no matter what so yeah, we're really excited about next month, about visiting them and spending time with them. And we have to make the best out of the future. So um, yeah, that is too much information. So for all of you that are wondering if we're doing good, we are doing good and we are happy. And I am talking to her and I'm sharing, she is my maid of honor for those of you who don't know. And yeah that is the too much information that i wanted to share with you guys because i know that many of you from high school knew that i did not she was my sister-in-law and that i did it earnest and that she was Ernest's sister and all of that and i know that a lot of you from high school watched my videos and all of that stuff so yeah we are doing good and we're going to be visiting them next month and yeah so and for those of you who are not from high school, um, just a quick little update. I am speaking about my sister-in-law. Um, we went through a rough, rough path and now we are doing a lot better and I'm really glad that we are. Um, and I do want to thank you so much guys for watching this video and I will be coming back with you guys for more. Uh, thank you again for um, responding guys, um, responding back to me with the Snapchat videos, um, the Snapchat post, I'm sorry. Um, many of you like got back to me with like really cool um, video ideas and I'm considering them. Uh, so yeah, thank you once again and... Thank you for watching. Bye.